Welcome back to the Home Depot Halftime Report. Well, we're at halftime of the Sacramento Regional Final. Let's show you what happened in the Memphis Regional Final. Super freshman Brittany Griner from Baylor taking on Duke in a 4-2 matchup. And Griner, go to her early. Well, you got to go to the big girl. Establish inside. Nobody can guard her. Baylor up three. She shot just about 50% from the floor, but Karima Christmas drives baseline. Well, Duke and Karima Christmas had a double-double off the bench, gave them a great output. Duke up five at the break, and then Brittany Brunning, get it out of here! France not welcome! She sets the NCAA level tournament record for blocks on Allison Verneray, and then Bridgette Mitchell, no again! And then Bryant Griner, finally they went to her in the second half after going away from her for so long. Yeah, they did go to her, and, and they needed her down the stretch. She came up with big plays on the block. Baylor within two, and then Nene. With a takeaway, okay. And then it's Melissa Jones with the putback. Unbelievable quickness by the freshman to get it to Melissa Jones. Baylor within one. Less than a minute left. The Bears still down one. Kelly Griffin inside the Griner. Yes, she had 15, 11 boards, and nine blocks. They're up three. One last chance for Duke. They get it to Joy Cheek in the corner, and it doesn't go. Baylor closes on a 10-0 run. And the team with nine freshmen and sophomores advancing to the Final Four, 51 to 48. After the game, Holly Rowe with an ecstatic Kim Bolton. How did you have the courage to keep all your freshmen out there on the floor? God, I don't know. I'm blessed. Nene Hayden and Jordan Madden, they made mistakes at the end of the first half to put them at the foul line and gave them four buckets. And I kept with those kids. Griner, I got her out of the game and got on her. She makes a big bucket. I don't know how we won this game other than I've got a bunch of group that fight with me, compete with me, and all they know to do is play hard, Holly. Well, Coach, one of the keys was the steal out of bounds. Duke had the ball, and the freshman stole it. Jones finished. How do you describe that, Guts? That's a Nene Hayden play. That's what freshmen do. They look great one minute, and the next minute they drive you crazy. What a great time to look great. I mean, the whole game, you know, um, I give a lot of credit to Duke. They uh, they crashed the boards, you know, really well. We knew, you know, we just never gave up hope that we could, you know, get that get that one rebound that we needed to, uh, you know, just, <laughs> just the, you know, just the win. <laughs> Obviously an ecstatic Brittany Griner. She mentioned it, offensive rebounding. Much like the Duke men against Baylor in the Elite Eight on the men's side, they had 22 offensive rebounds. Duke had 19 offensive rebounds, and in the, for the longest time in the second half, it looked like they were going to pull away and move to the Final Four. Then they absolutely went cold from the floor, and one of the reasons why had to be the presence of Griner inside. Oh, well, Brittany Griner, she changes the game defensively, and you know, down the stretch for Baylor, even though they gave up all those offensive rebounds, they held them to one shot, and poor shot selection from Duke down the stretch, but when you look at what Brittany Griner does, she makes you think about her presence, every time you come down across half court. What I can't understand is why teams keep coming in the paint when you know 6'8", Brittany Griner's there. You've got to find a way to pull her away from the basket because you go straight at her 6'8". A lot of times that shot's getting sent right back to you. As Kara likes to say, the oven is hot. Do not touch. Don't touch it. Don't touch they it. They touching kept it. going in and trying to touch it. Brittany Griner <laughs> swatted it away. The Baylor Lady Bears into their second Final Four, both starting from 2005 and now in 2010.